Hey, it's Jerson, and today I'm unboxing and installing the Garen Fitness Maxi Misa Pull-Up Bar. I bought this off Amazon for $49.98 in March 2020. I figured this would be a good tool to help keep me in shape while I'm on lockdown during the COVID-19 Safer at Home order in California. Inside the box, there's a set of instructions which cover how to install the bar and there's also a 10% off coupon for Garen Fitness products on Amazon. It comes with two set of heavy duty metal mounting brackets with mounting hardware and one medium duty plastic plug mount kit so you can mount your bar in multiple door frames or in different positions. You've got options for sure. The pull-up bar itself has a nice chrome plated finish with 5mm thick foam grips and overall it feels pretty sturdy in my hands. The arms on the side of the pull-up bar can be rotated to adjust the length of the bar. There's also little locking screws on either side which secure the bar in place once you have the bar properly fitted to the door frame. Alright, let's get this scene installed now. Once you find a door frame in your house that you want to mount it to, the next thing you want to do is determine your mounting height. You do about four inches from the top of the door frame and then mark it with a pencil. Once you have your marks in, take the attachment bracket and then pencil in your drill holes. Once you've penciled in the holes for your attachment bracket, the next thing to do is to use the screws to mount it to the wall. Now, you can do that by hand, but if you have a power tool, it's gonna make your life a lot easier. Once you have the mounting brackets up, the last step is to put the pull-up bar into the brackets. Now to do this, you have to rotate the pull-up bar until it extends and you want to get it to a good enough length so that once you have it up there, you don't have to do so much turning. And you rotate this clockwise to get it up. Now you want to make it snug, but you don't want to over tighten it because you don't want to damage the door frame when you do this. Once you have the pull-up bar in, you can go ahead and tighten the little safety screws with the provided Allen wrench. This keeps the width of the pull-up bar the same while you're using it, so you don't risk the pull-up bar going in or out. So now that's inside the door frame, it's secure. I think it's safe to start using it. Let's put this thing to the test. Now I'm about 200 pounds and this thing didn't budge at all, so it feels really snug. So I think we did a decent job installing it. If you found this video helpful, like it down below or leave a comment in the comment section. And if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.